You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's some of you on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of After Class Gills Path. So, y'all, before we jump into it, I just want to let y'all know that we've got our Patreon up, so if y'all haven't checked that out, go ahead, the link's in the description, give it a gander, and see if you might want to donate, uh, donate monthly to us, y'all get it, you'll get awesome exclusive rewards and permanent access to our community Discord server. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alrighty. Alright. <clears throat> hey, Henry, open up. Yep, that's his voice. Coming! Morning, coach. What are you doing here this early? Did you just jump over my front gate? And where's your shirt? Hey, Henry, I've just finished jogging from my place. Yes, and I was just passing by, so I thought I'd pay a visit. I'm sorry about trespassing, though. It's fine, just don't do that again next time. That aside, are you sure you're gonna going to school like this, though? Oh, yeah, that's why I'm here. Would you mind if I borrowed your shower? Uh, help yourself. Thanks a bunch, Henry. He squeezed your butt as he headed to the bathroom. Can you not? You tried to chase him, but he was too fast for you. Oh, well. It was already 7.25 a.m. when you realized that he was taking a long time in the shower. Hey, coach, don't mean to be rude here, but could you hurry up? I need to go to, the, I need to, go to school. Okay, in a bit. Sorry for the wait. No worries, coach. Right, while we're here. Y yes? He pulled out a pair of training pants out of his bag. It was the same as his. Oh, this is for later? Yeah, they sent it early today, so it's best to give you, it's best to give it to you before I forget. Apparently they'd finished it yesterday. I didn't expect them to be that fast. Cool, thanks, coach. No problem. Make sure you bring it with you today. We have practice, remember? Yeah, I know. Just let me when you finish putting it into your bag, you went to the camp you went to the campus with Coach Gill. Oh, yeah, I remember that you said you were jogging from your place. Yes, why do you ask? Do you always exercise in the morning? Oh, no, just three times a week. I see. That must be tiring. Not if you do it often. It's a healthy lifestyle. What's your morning routine? Me? I sleep until morning, shower, eat breakfast, laze around before school if I have time. He stopped walking for some reason, turned back his body and scanning you from top to bottom. You're going to exercise with me in the morning. Be prepared. What? But Peter... <laughs> he made you jog to keep up with him whether you liked it or not. He was a little bit too fast. You had a hard time keeping up with him. You worked up a good sweat thanks to him. At least you didn't drench yourself in sweat, fortunately. C come on, why should I exercise with you? I can exercise by myself. You're a little bit out of shape and you have low energy. Look at you. Jog for a bit and you're already running out of breath. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh, come on. No buts. Everyone on the team does, except you. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I let you exercise alone, would you know what to do? Fair point. Fine. Good. He felt like there was nothing more to discuss, so you followed him from behind until both of you reached the school. Oh, this is where we part ways. After what you did to me? Oh, don't be so dramatic. You said that, but the way you said that, you, the way you said what you said earlier made it really dramatic. You said it like we're not going to see each other for a long time. Just got to make it dramatic. That didn't make sense, but you had to save your energy for today's basketball practice, so you rolled your eyes. Fine, I'll see you after school, coach. Make sure you head to the school gym after class. Will do. You went to your class while Coach Gill headed to his office. For some reason, you didn't go into the classroom right away. You stood there for a bit and just wait and just watched the classroom from the outside. What are you doing standing in front of the class like that? Uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like going in all by myself. Oh! I haven't seen you in forever! Have you really? No, but where have you been? Doing stuff? Anyway, if you don't feel like going in all by yourself, come in with me then. Ah, yeah, okay. We need some catching up to do, though. Yeah, yeah, we can do that later. Morning, Mr. Stone. Good morning, Mark. Henry. Ah, yeah, good morning, Mr. Parker. Uh, something on your mind, Henry? I don't know. I just randomly don't feel too good. Do you need to take a break? Oh, I I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I see. Okay. What are you doing, Mr. Parker? Me? I was just doing some paperwork. Nothing too exciting. Huh. He sounded a little bit dismissive. Maybe he didn't want to show you just yet. It wasn't actually the first time you saw him getting busy with these papers. It was just that you never asked him for some reason. Hmm, okay, I guess I'll get seated now. Alright, class starts in 15 minutes. Go rest up while you can. I'll do that. Thanks, Mr. Parker. Both of you walk to your seats. You put your bag on the desk before sitting down while Mark just put his bag onto the floor. Well, I won't bother you for now. Take it easy. Thanks, Mark. Oh, yeah. Wanna hang out with me later? 
I'd love to, but I have plans with Coach Gill. After all that, we need we need some catching up to do. That's cruel, Henry. Hey, I would love to, but I made plans with him first. Second y'all, water time. Went on a date, huh? Oh, please. Last thing I want to do today is getting groped by him. I'm pretty sure you like it. I don't. Then why is your face getting red? Can it, Mark? I thought you said you wouldn't bother me for now. Huh, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just going to school. I'm just going to the school gym after this. I didn't ask. <laughs> Suddenly, Mr. Parker clapped his hands. It was loud enough to yeet you out of the beefy dreamland paradise. D did I drool? You wiped your mouth discreetly and quickly. There was nothing, thankfully. I can't believe I actually fell asleep in class. Okay, now that's everyone's fear. That's everyone here. Face forward and pay attention. Class is starting. Hmm. He said everyone, but I see some people aren't here. Today, I think we should go over an example of a prose poem together. He looked at Mark, and it seemed like he started dozing off. He decided to leave him alone and listen to the lecture instead. Class concluded. Everyone was leaving, one student after another. Some of them were staying in the classroom, but you decided to leave. Mark, too, apparently. Well, you're going to the school gym, aren't you? I'm heading out now. If you want to hang out, I'm at the playground. Ah, okay. Why the playground, though? Why not? I'm heading out now. See you around. Hmm, okay. Uh, be safe, Mark. You too. Don't ever exert yourself, dude. Wait, before I before I go, how are you feeling? I'm feeling all good. Why's that? Just wanted to check in on you. Heh, <laughs> thanks, Mark. Yee. He left the classroom. You immediately headed outside because you had to go to the school gym, but Mr. Parker called you before you left. Henry, please wait a moment. Huh? What is it? Are you feeling better? I am. I feel pretty good right now. That's great. Anyway, you're going to practice basketball with Gil, yes? Yes? Why do you ask? Can you give him this book, this box? Oh, sure, but what is this? He said don't open it, so I don't know. You took the box from Mr. Parker and held it in your hand. Hmm, okay then. Thanks, Henry. No problem. I'm going to practice now. Please excuse me. Go ahead. You made your way to the basketball court entrance, but for some reason, again, you ended up stalling in front of the door instead of going in right away. Could it be because of your anxiety, or maybe you weren't mentally ready? Either way, you decided that running away won't solve the problem. When you opened the door, you saw Brom and Gordon sitting on the floor. They greeted you as you walked toward them. So, oh, hey, Henry, right? Good to see you here. We thought you chickened out. Hi, Henry. Put the box down as you sat down. What? Of course not! Glad to hear that. We wouldn't know what to do if you left. Well, to be frank, whether I'm here or not doesn't make any difference. Not true. It's better to have someone, have someone inexperienced than no one at all. You know, you don't have to say the inexperienced part. <laughs> That's Gordon for you. Anyway, what's that box? Oh, that? I don't know. Mr. Parker told me to give it to Coach Gill. Mr. Parker? Ah, Stone. Mr. Stone. Ah, okay. I'm curious about the box. Me too, but he told me not to open it. Want to open it? For some reason, Gordon was already holding a pair of scissors, making a snipping gesture. Wait, no, no, please keep that away from the box. Also, where did you get that? Jeez, Gordon, don't do that. But aren't you curious? Well... I am, but we shouldn't do that if you said don't open it. Henry? Uh... Both of them looked at you with their puppy eyes. You're now faced with a dilemma. If you open the box, Coach Gale would find out for sure. On the other hand, if you didn't, you felt like you'd disappoint them. I'm curious myself, but don't open the box. I don't think we should do that. Give box! He stared, getting closer to you while Brom stops him from getting near. Come on, Gordon, don't pressure him like that. It's not like Coach... It's not like Coach is coming here anytime soon. How did you know? Oh, God, Gordon, stop it! Gordon kept approaching you, and you kept avoiding him. You walked toward the door as a last resort, but the door opened suddenly. What were you guys doing? Where are the others? But we... Ah! Just, just hanging around? Yeah, getting to know Henry, asking about his routine, things like that. Second y'all, water time. Huh. Okay. Uh, where are the others? Uh, eating lunch at the cafeteria. Talbot too? Looking for me? Ah. What's up, coach? Uh, nothing much. I need to discuss something with you regarding our practice. Sure. What's on your mind? Um, sorry to interrupt, but Mr. Parker asked me to give you this box to you. Gotta get it out of my hand before Gordon starts pressuring it, pressuring to open it again. Ah, thanks a lot, Henry. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we just need to... You headed back to where Brahm and Gordon were sitting and started chatting with them as you waited for the rest of the team members. 
Everyone is here, it seems. Okay, listen up everyone. All you know is that we have a new addition to our team. All of you know that we have a new addition to our team, right? Thanks to that, we finally have 12 people on our team. Five of you will be on the court when we play and seven of you will wait on the bench. I did tell you guys that we practiced today, but there was a change of plan. It's because we have fairly new players in our team, so I'll handle the four new members and the rest can practice with Talbot. Henry! Yes? You'll stay here. Uh huh, uh, okay. Hmm. Axel, Jet, and Zack, you'll stay here. Oh, Brom too. Aw oh, man, I'm not with Gordon. Hey, coach. What is it, Brom? You said four new members and you included five. I'm not a new team member, so why am I training with you? True, but you're on a but you're on par with the new players. What? Sucks to be you, Brom. Get good. Huh, oh well. Anyway, the rest of you will train with Talbot. Any questions? You had tons of questions, but no one said anything, so you decided to keep all these questions to yourself. If no, then you're dismissed. Talbot and Co. will be practicing on the outdoor court, while the five of you should stay here. Oh, hey, maybe I'm maybe being an inexperienced player isn't that bad after all. You get to stay indoors. You were in a good condition to do some exercise outside, so you agreed with him. Are these guys even serious about this? Don't ask me. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, Talbot should have like a really deep voice. Since the others are gone, we're going to cover the basics of basketball. He pulled out a blackboard from a small room and started explaining about basketball. I'm pretty sure all of you already know about it, but we'll still gonna, we're still going to cover it anyway. In basketball, each team is made up of 12 players, with only 5 players allowed on the court. There are 5 positions in basketball. They all have their own roles. They are broken up into point guard, defensive guard, center, offensive forward, and defensive forward. Each of the roles have their own position at the start of the game, but they are allowed to move around as they want. As long as it's still on the court, that is. So far, so good? Everyone nodded when Coach Gill asked. Uh, what about the roles? We'll cover that next time. Anyway, did you know that basketball courts come in different sizes? The National Basketball Association, or what we call the NBA, has a court with a size of 94 by, 94 by 50 feet. Meanwhile, the International Basketball Federation, or commonly known as FIBA, has slightly smaller courts, measuring exactly 91.9 by 49.2 feet. The professional game is a split up into four 12-minute quarters for a total of 48 minutes, but the counter might be stopped because of many aspects of gameplay, such as fouls, timeouts, ball out of bounds, and a 15-minute halftime. From that, we can summarize that one basketball game typically lasts from 2 up to 2.5 hours. Before I start telling you about scoring, you all need to know about the court, so I might as well tell you that. Thank you, water time. He grabbed, a he grabbed a white chalk piece and started drawing a diagram of a basketball court on the blackboard. Oh, he's left on he's left-handed. The court is rectangular shaped. In the middle of the court, there's a line with a circle found in the center. That's where the game starts with a tip-off. A tip-off is where the ball is thrown in the air by a referee and a player from each team tries to get the ball for their team. At each end of the court, there are two baskets. Both are 10 feet in height. There are half rings at each end of the court, too. Those are called three-point arcs, and in the middle of the ring is a free-throw line. Okay, since you know what is there, what is where, I'm going to tell you about the scoring numbers. There are three scoring numbers in basketball. You score from the outside of the three-point arc, you'll get three points, you'll get three points. Two points for a basketball score within the three-point arc. As you'd guessed, you'll get one point if you score in the free throw. Free throw. Oh, what is what is free throw now? Ah, good question. But whenever a foul is committed by a team, it will be recorded. When it reaches a certain number, a free throw will be rewarded. Who will do the free throw depends on whoever was fouled by the opponent team. Last but not least, how to win? Easy. Simply score more points than your opponents. Uh, what if it's a tie? Then an extra quarter will be played until one of the teams wins. I see. Okay. Right. There are a lot of rules in basketball, so I'd like you to check these out when you're home. He opened the box and pulled out several pamphlets. He noticed that he stared at the box for a while before handing these to all of you. That should be enough for today. I was going to ask all of you to practice here, but the principal said not to use the indoor court for now because there's some maintenance to do. And the outdoor court is occupied. Woo! Lucky! Hm. That being said, you're free to go now. Have a good afternoon. Henry, stay here for a bit. Huh? Uh, okay. Everyone left the school gym but you and Coach Gill. I want to apologize about yesterday. That was unprofessional of me. I shouldn't have done that, but I got caught up in the moment. Yesterday? You know, when I, uh, measured your body. Uh, oh, that. D don't worry about it, Coach. I see. Okay. Well, that's why I told you to stay. Oh, wait, no. Did Parker say anything about the box? He told me to give it to you and not to open it. 
I see. Did you open it, though? I'm curious, but I didn't. Okay, thanks, Henry. You're welcome, Coach. Um, you're welcome? Anyway, we should go out before Talbot comes here. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. And also check out the Patreon, y'all. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.